What's happening? <sighs> I don't... Depression. Depression. So, she had depression there, as she stated before. And like I said, I believe it affected her a tremendous amount. And unfortunately, it just took a toll on her. And she did take time off, but she came back, had a little championship run as champion, and ended up having that whole situation where reportedly alleged she left WWE due to creative differences. Her and Naomi walking out with the tag team championships, the women's tag team championships, went to New Japan, got injured there shortly after arriving in New Japan. I think it just she hasn't been the same since. She has not been the same since. So I think it just affected everything. So I believe that, you know, it's just, I don't know. It's just she hasn't been right since then. But I know she recently did an interview. She recently did an interview uh, with a gentleman. He used to be with WWE. Um, he did work with WWE. His name is Evan Mack. You know, he was a great podcast. And it talks about everything. It tells you the whole deal with that and what happened between those two. And it goes more into, it just seemed like something's off with Mercedes in this interview. I could be wrong, but, but I also, I don't think I am off. I don't think I am wrong in this one, but I could tell something's just not right with this whole interview. But we will get into that and see what's going on. Is it something I write between these two? But I know this is... It's a couple things I'm going to point out with this situation. This interview, and that's where I think she's having issues besides the depression. Let's see what's going on. All right, all right. So we're going to get here now, and we're going to, I don't know, it just seemed like something, some odd with this situation. But like I said, we'll see what happened. This is Evan Mack of Kick Rocks Podcast. She talks about her leaving WWE, but also other, other subtle things I noticed too. You and I, we're in lockstep with this. Just yes. I want you to, this is not a this is not an argument here. But I was corrected by a very, very like handsome Japanese fellow oh, I'm many sure. years back. And, he, and I felt very embarrassed. Because I, I think that is the right correct correct way to say it. But of course I like to emphasize it but little Corgi so, too. So yes, it's in the Bay. I lived there till I was nine years old. Um, but Boston is where I found myself and discovered everything that I needed for wrestling. And it's a place that really just took me underneath its wing. So that's why I call Boston home. Mm -hmm. You know, the West Coast is always going to be a part of me. But, you know, for the Super Bowl, I had to represent the Niners and go all out because I'm like, this is my first time going to the Super Bowl. And number one, Whoa. I'm the biggest Usher fan of all time. Usher's so cold. See him. So... Sasha Banks, Mercedes Monet, seeing how she gushing over Usher, seeing like she lives the fantasy of Usher. And the thing about it is, the uh, reason I said that is, this is one point I want to notice out. Why is Sasha, why is Mercedes Monet, you know, talking about Usher in that sense? Biggest Usher fan. And you're a married woman, Sasha, Mercedes. You got so many names. Mercedes, you're married. Why are you gushing over gushing over Usher like that? It's like she's in awe with him. Like she still see him as, you know, her favorite R&B singer, heartthrob wise. And I don't think she should be coming, approaching that situation as a married woman. Like I said, I could be overlooking it, but I could not be. But it just seemed like, I don't know, something strange with that situation. You know, we'll see about it again. Let's go back really close to San Francisco. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a place that really just took me underneath its wings, so that's why I call Boston home. Mm -hmm. You know, the West Coast is always going to be a part of me, but, you know, for the Super Bowl, I had to represent the Niners and go all out because I'm like, this is my first time going to the Super Bowl. And number one, Whoa. I'm the biggest Usher fan of See, the way she looks when she when so excited talking about Usher, 
it seemed like something red flag there with that situation uh, she's all over usher like i said not a good thing um another thing i want to mention um we look here let's see let's continue on this interview all time usher's so cold live again i'm like wow this is so legendary and so american right. that i like to do like let's see here's another red flag right here this is a red flag right here the the first part of you gushing over usher as a married woman let's see what else one thing that does not sit right with me right now she is not wearing her wedding ring you're supposed to be a married woman if you look there's no wedding ring now that's like a tattoo there that is not a wedding ring but it seemed like it's a red flag with that why is it this married woman wearing a wedding ring you say you know we just heard you mention how you met your husband and how you guys were you know best friends and everything why aren't you wearing your wedding ring it seemed like something's off you first go in awe over usher and now you're not wearing your wedding ring. Also, she also what she mentioned too that her husband was not there at the Super Bowl. You mentioned she was there with Britt Baker and others. I'm gonna play the rest, but she did not. She's not wearing a wedding ring. No wedding ring is on there. She doesn't even talk about her husband either. Let's see what else she says. Like once in a lifetime yeah. American things. I like to say culture things. Um, it was such a cool experience and getting to meet up with all. My friends during so cool. halftime, we were all kind of like in the same section at the same time. I'm like, this is I odd. Love, I love that. But we got to take shots during the third quarter and just celebrate and have fun. I just like that you were able to do that because you know, in the in the, in the wrestling community, they, they pretend like you guys don't really know each other outside if you're not in the same exact they think we're at the still same in exact the time. 1970s where <laughs> kayfabe has to be so kayfabe, but it's like. I'm not feuding with Rey Mysterio or <laughs> Bailey or Britt Baker or Titus. So yeah, I'm gonna hang out with my homeboys and homegirls and you know, kick back with a couple shots. So what listen to what happened? So see, she mentioned that, you know, she don't do the cafe, which because the internet today and the dirt she's is pretty much done. Also, she says she not feud with Rey Mysterio, Bailey, Britt Baker, Titus O'Neil, but she does not mention her husband it's like she does not go to public outings with her husband as much i don't never see where her husband lately it's like it's separated he does her thing she does hers and it seemed like it's something off with the marriage between mercedes and saraf Khan. and what i mean by that not just these interviews if you look here in these photos it seemed like they don't seem all buddy buddy all close like that this is my opinion if you look there they take these pictures they seem distant it seems like they're not really tight she doesn't wear a wedding ring you know she's by herself you know it just seemed like something's off between mercedes and Saraf. she got him in the headlock there that does seem maybe wife and husband type it just seemed like i don't know that it just seemed like i believe well the issues that mercedes has had i think it's affected her marriage her whole life including not just personal but like i said i mean professional it's definitely definitely affect her her whole life professionally and personally you don't seem like they're in tune with each other seem like they just two individuals in a relationship not a, a cohesive unit together see how this is in that picture it is right there no wedding ring again in that photo no wedding ring he does not wear it and like i said i think that her run WWE is just really, I don't think Mercedes ever been the same since she said, since she's left WWE in 2022. It just affected her all the way over. And now, you know, we had the rumors that she was trying to come back to WWE and she didn't because of, she wanted, allegedly wanted too much money. You know, I heard her supposed to debut AW soon, but you know, AW, they know for, you know, everybody get hurt over there and overworked. I just hope she stays healthy and she don't get hurt again. But I believe it's affected her personal life as well as her professional life. Now I know her husband, he still does work. He has a, a co-host, a podcast. He still does the costume designing work for WWE. And I know he has other stuff that he ventures into, but it just seemed like her and her husband are very distant. They are more like friends than lovers. That's my take on the whole thing. And 
I don't know. It's just something's off this marriage. And I wouldn't be surprised if Mercedes and Sarah end up having a separation. If they're not separated already or divorced down the line. It's just something don't seem right between these two. And you guys, you know, let me know what you think of this situation. You know, could be I'd be overlooking to it. You could think you could say that, but I don't think so. The fact of the matter is. The fact of my whole thing is, I think if it's a relationship win or relationship cap, I think it's a relationship cap. It's not a real genuine relationship. It probably started out once was, but it's not like that anymore. And the fact of the matter is, I know the Mercedes Monet fans are going to give me backlash. They're going to say, oh, you're hating. Oh, you're losing it. Leave these people alone. I'm not going to leave it alone. I'm going to get into it like I get into other relationships like I did. The fact of the matter is, based off the interviews and the body language, I call it how I see it. That's the bottom line. You can take it for however you want. I call it how I see it. It's something that's off between these two, and that's the whole thing about it. It's just something ain't good with this whole thing. You guys let me know what you think of the situation. But I would say that something, something just does not sit right. I'll say it again. And like I said, that's all I have regarding the subject. You guys.